Hi, I'm Paul Cornwall with Lafroy Harbor Resorts, just 40 minutes north of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. We are your Eastern Canada dealer for Ranger Tugs. Today I'm going to walk you through our stock 2016 29-foot R29S. Some notable, notable specs on the R29S. Its length overall is just over 33 feet. Her beam is 10 feet and she draws only 28 inches. The displacement of the hull is 10,500 pounds. Her holding tank capacities for fuel are 145 gallons. Fresh water is 60 gallons and your holding tank is 40. Let me walk you through uh, her from stem to stem. Thank you. Walking you through the exterior of the Ranger Tug. All models above 21 feet are standard with bow and stern thrusters. Your stern thruster is just above the rudder and is a transom ramp, uh, mount. The Ranger Tug is a semi-displacement hull and the prop is above the hull line and protected. Ranger Tugs are extremely good in shallow water conditions and inland waterways. If you run aground, your drivetrain is protected. Shore power are twin 30 amp inputs. Our stock unit here has transom rails installed which are optional. There is a telescopic ladder and a propane locker which also hoses a spare fuel tank. If you choose a propane versus electric stove and oven, this is where your propane tanks are plumbed. There is rear and side entry to the cockpit. Within the cockpit, we have a transom seat that folds fore and aft. Also within the cockpit is a standard refrigerator which you can also uh, swap out for an ice maker. Stowable teak table with double pedestal and various storage compartments throughout. On the starboard side
Within the cockpit, there is also a fresh water supply for a wash down. One major difference on the new model 29S is another rear transom seat or rear facing seat with an opening in the cabin window which I'll show you now. There's a footstool which also folds away and this seat doubles as a uh, seating for the dinette also. In the cabin there's a 22 inch television slash DVD player which stows away neatly also spins 360 degrees it can be viewed uh, from the interior of the cabin or from the cockpit the cabin throughout is all finished with teak and holly Full oven, dual burner electric stove, there is a propane option also, a full sink, refrigerator, with ice box, microwave, And seating on the port side also stows forward to give you more counter space. The helm seat doubles as seating for the dinette and it flips forward and adds height for better visibility. The table in the main cabin also has a telescopic leg which drops and doubles as a double size berth. It folds away hiding two cup holders and some grab rails for when you're underway. Also in the cabin are brass portholes. LED lighting throughout, which is not standard but is on this stock unit. And a good sized panoramic view from the helm. There are wipers on each window. Tinted windows on the roof of the cabin with hatches that open for good airflow. Your port and starboard side windows both open. And are screened. Outside these windows are your cleats, which make it handy if you're doing a lock system. So you don't have to leave the cabin. There is a smoke glass window allowing light into the head which is just uh, inside the V-berth, which I'll show you in a minute. At the helm is standard VHF radio. Garmin chart plotter with radar. This is an LCD for your Volvo uh, 260 horsepower engine, showing you uh, your engine data some of which are the temperature, oil pressure, and fuel consumption. Your autopilot. 
bow and stern thruster toggles, bow and stern thruster remote, and various switches for your wipers, navigation lights, chart lights, horn, and this is for the defroster or fan system which is above the front windshield to prevent them from fogging up. Standard with compass which does illuminate and the Volvo also has electric fly-by-wire throttles which are very responsive and uh, easy to operate with a cruise control function. Cabin heat is also supplied by the engine when you're underway with a low, medium and high fan setting and heat is given through this venting just in the floorboard. Entry to the mid cabin is just under this seat. Your inverter and charging switch, solar panel output, generator startup, and thermostat for your AC and reverse cycle heat. Your main panel is also stowed in the mid cabin for all your AC and DC power. And fresh water gauge. The mid berth goes back approximately six feet four inches. And there's some natural lighting with the portholes also. The main cabin has exterior window covers and interior curtains so you can uh, black out the cabin for privacy. It is also speakered throughout the cabin, V-berth and cockpit from your fusion radio system which I'll show you in a minute. Moving forward into the V-berth Standard on the R29S is a wine cooler which houses six bottles. Another 22 inch DVD TV player and a separate AC reverse cycle heat thermostat unit so you don't have to heat the whole heat or cool uh, both cabins. The Fusion radio system is integrated into your television and is speakered again throughout and also up on the bow which I'll show you later. By opening the faceplate there is a tray inside with a USB port and it also houses an iPhone so you can stream, say, music or Netflix to your television. Storage in the V-Birth includes a hanging closet, some shelving, a, a large drawer under the V-Birth, Also side rails uh, just below the natural uh, lighting given through the brass portholes. Entry to the bow lockers behind the mirror. A table, another cupboard. The V berth is also equipped with a privacy curtain. And entry to the uh, berth itself has a half walk around on the port and the starboard side. Makes it easy to get in and out. The 
The head is uh, electric flush with storage behind and below the sink. A nice glass sink. In behind the um, cabinet within the bird is access to a fuse panel for your navigation and various other instruments. The fuse panel is marked clearly on each wire going to each fuse. So if you run into problems underway, it's very easy to diagnose which fuse, fuse is giving you the issue. Again, showing you the natural light that's coming through to the head. We currently do not have any lights on in here and it's very bright. The head has a shepherd, uh, separate <laughs> shower faucet which hangs neatly behind the door and a shower curtain that surrounds you so you're keeping everything on your counters and walls dry. Entry to the foredeck is simple. There's a step from the cockpit with railings above the cabin and a good sized walkthrough. Okay, let's move to the foredeck and I'll show you what's up there. Above the cockpit is a hardtop cover and our stock unit is fitted with a solar panel. The bow or foredeck is very usable space. There's seating underneath these hatches and storage. A good size anchor locker. Standard windlass. And off the bow is a swim ladder for beaching. Your radar mast folds down for trailering and for low bridge heights if you're doing an intercoastal or a uh, inland waterway. Your spotlight, which is uh, controlled from the helm. Height above the water is just under 10 feet with the mast down. Also under the sun visor, it is speakered with separate wipers on each window. And viewing the top side of the cabin, there's a sport rack, which is currently housing the solar panel, but you could store a paddle board or kayak. And you can see all the windows up here are tinted, which keeps the cabin cool. All right, back in the cockpit, I'm gonna show you the engine compartment. I've flipped the transom seat the other way, removed the teak table. The switch for the actuated hatch cylinder is just on the starboard side. I'm going to open the hatch now and show you inside. In the engine compartment on the R29S is a 260 horsepower Volvo Penta diesel D4 engine. Your oil filters are on top as well as your strainers. Access and visibility for all the uh, important maintenance touch points are easily accessible. Ranger Tugs now come with a next gen gen set which is much quieter and as you can see on the outside of the insulated bulkhead and insulated throughout which makes it very quiet in the cabin. Anyhow, that's the 2016 Ranger Tug R29S. I hope you liked it. If you have more questions or 
want to view some of the specifications we haven't outlined, you can go to rangertugs.com for a virtual tour and pricing. You can call me at 705-718-2407 or send me an email. It's paul, P-A-U-L, at lefroyharbor.com, L-E-F-R-O-Y-H-A-R-B-O-U-R.com. Bye for now.